Let's talk about Under Armour. I, I didn't really have a good pivot for that one. But anyway, let's talk about Under Armour because the shares are moving lo lower right now. Under Armour shares moving down by about five and a half, five point six percent after the company announced that president and CEO Patrick Frisk will be stepping down this June. He's going to remain with the brand as an advisor through the summer. Frisk joined the company, you remember, in 2017 and did not give an exact reason for his soon to be departure. Uh, the company did announce that their ongoing search involves both internal and external candidates. Uh, it seems like Frisk is going to stick around for that transition process as well. And naturally, you wonder if they're going to do like Nike did when they were um, going through their own transition and Mark Parker was on his way out and they ultimately brought in John Donahoe. John was already on the board of directors. We'll see if Under Armour takes a similar route, picks somebody from the board of directors. I think more broadly across the landscape right now, they could really use a revitalization in their strategy and their go-to-market uh, demographics right now. Looking across all of the competition, Adidas, Lululemon, Nike, they are prioritizing the women's segment. And for Under Armour, what they need to do as well, I think, in looking across and reading through the tea leaves here, is really understanding where some of those competitors are doing that successfully and ultimately engaging with the segment uh, across both apparel and footwear here. But Under Armour, I mean, it's been a, a terrible story year to date that we've been tracking. Uh, and we were talking about their earnings just last week. Uh, highly disappointing. And, and in terms of the movement forward from here, we'll see exactly who they select and what they decide to lean into, especially as D2C is a major player in any type of footwear and apparel brand right now. Well, here's why he's leaving. Uh, probably uh, the stock has been circling the toilet bowl. Uh, and with that happening, uh, you have to remember Kevin Plank, the founder of Under Armour, uh, his wealth has been absolutely hammered. Now, I was talking to a couple of folks with, with knowledge of uh, Under Armour's happenings, let's just say, uh, and Plank is not happy with how the stock has performed, how the business is performing. It is no surprise he had a huge presence on that press release last night. Uh, the sense is that Patrick Frisk has always been, quote, a hard ass. That was what one insider told me as well. Didn't really fit in with the culture under armor. And now Plank, in effect, may be pulling a, a minor Howard Schultz here at Starbucks coming back to save his investment and the company. Unclear if he's going to take on the full-time job as CEO, but, but make no mistake, uh, he is in fact running this company right now. I know they put an interim CEO in, but uh, Kevin Plank, for all intents and purposes, is back atop uh, Under Armour. Here, here's a quick reminder for folks. Kevin Plank wasn't doing so great when Patrick Frisk took oh. over, folks. So it's not like he's gonna come in and save this company. If you look at the full-term chart, of Under Armour, and you see its peak market cap, which I think was about $22 billion, something like that. Um, if you go all the way back, I don't know if we have the chart going all the way back, folks, but you can see the peak. That's the max? That's the max. Or anyway, that's not, is that the max? No. No, that's not right. Anyway, the point is, is that the stock was going down quite a bit um, when uh, Plank stepped uh, back from the company and Patrick Frisk took over two years ago. So it's quite interesting to... You know who should be the next CEO, Julie? The Rock. The Rock is a... Is <laughs> you think The Rock should armor. run everything, dude. He should run everything, but his clothing line is really the only thing that's selling well with any consistency at the company. I want The Rock, CEO of Under Armour. You don't, it's you his don't, time. You don't like Get Steph Curry's, uh, his, his former dad shoes, as they were called? The, the, uh, the, the basketball Whatever shoes the that Rock were... Whatever The Rock is selling... I'm on board. I we, want The Rock. Next we, CEO of Under Armour. Kevin Plank, you need to get it done. But Saz, here's the thing. It's not like the culture was great under Kevin Plank either. You right. had all the allegations mm -hmm. of the, the toxic workplace environment. Why would they bring him back? Well, I think they could use a little bit of a, just from talking to folks, uh, uh, Brad, I, I think they could use a little uh, inspirational force. Now, he is coming back to a different company. If you want to give Frisk any credit is that one, he got the operations right the structure of the business, right? Cut a lot of expenses. And I, I think they do need uh, just a, a shot in the arm of, of inspiration and, and creativity. And you do get that from Plank. For all his faults as a leader, you do get that from him. Yeah, and also as I look at the Under Armour trajectory, I look at some of the other shoe startups, right? Although Under Armour didn't come at it from shoes, right? They came at it from apparel to shoes. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, I look at an On Running, I look at an Allbirds, for example, with some of the yeah. ups on the one hand you've seen, maybe a little bit downs on the other. I don't know. I, I'm curious how all of this is going to play out for these um, various contenders.